The body of an Ontario man who drowned at Lucky Peak Reservoir has been found and recovered. The Ada County Sheriff's Office says the 35 year old was on a ski boat Sunday night when he jumped into the water without a life jacket to help his kids who had fallen off a tube. The Sheriff's Office says the man drowned. Such a tragic story. Our Jude Binkley was at Lucky Peak earlier when searchers found his body. Jude. Morgan, crews were out on the water at 8 o'clock this morning to search, and they located the body around 11 this morning, very close to where the man had gone into the water, about three to 400 yards from Turner Gulch. It's challenging and emotionally draining. Uh, we, we have deep sympathy for the, for the family, and uh, I, can, I can only imagine being in their spot and having to deal with the tragedy like this. Crews were out Sunday evening after the man went missing, but were limited on the depth they could dive. Because it's over 100 feet, we're, we are regulated by OSHA. Anything over 100 feet, we're not allowed to dive. The best, best scenario for something like this is to locate with sonar. Law enforcement called in the help of Gene Ralston, an underwater search and recovery expert who uses a deep water sonar. The system we use is housed in a heavy torpedo shaped object that we tow 10 or 15 feet off the bottom. The sonar reflects sound waves off the bottom of the reservoir and then processes that reflection into an image. They were able to locate his body 174 feet underwater. One of the people on the boat happened to take a photo just moments before he drowned and we were able to get the GPS coordinates from that photo and he's uh, probably 150 feet away from those coordinates. Marine deputies were on the scene within minutes on Sunday. We're able to mark that spot and those are the, the search points we started our search with. The man's family was at Lucky Peak when officers found the body. For right now, we have our crisis intervention team that's, that specialize uh, in uh, tragedy, uh, mental health, uh, those kinds of calls. Ralston recovered his first drowning victim in 1983, and over his decades of experience, he's recovered 131 bodies. People always, always have hope, and even when you find them, it's like they passed away all over again. And no, it doesn't really get any easier. It gets more gratifying, though, that we brought another family's loved one home, and that's what matters. The man's body was recovered Tuesday afternoon around 2. Ralston used a remote-operated vehicle with two cameras and a scanning sonar device. It also has a grabbing device on it that has been uh, redesigned to fully encircle a full-grown male's wrist or ankle. The Ada County Sheriff's Office is also stressing the importance of wearing a life jacket. The man who drowned was not wearing one. Lucky Peak has loner stations where you can borrow a life jacket for the day. The water is 68 degrees. It's very cold. Uh, you get that take your breath away sensation when you enter the water, uh, and sometimes that's too much for, for a person to overcome. Uh, so we really just want to uh, you know, deliver that message of the safety, the uh, PFDs, the life jackets, and the importance of wearing those uh, to avoid a tragedy like this. And Rolston says in addition to helping bring closure to the family, a critical thing about recovering a body is getting a death certificate, which helps families with financial affairs and insurance. And Morgan Doug, the coroner's office, has yet to identify the man. Rolston doing really important work there. Yeah. He was talking about being gratifying that he's able to bring loved ones back Tough to their job, families. Though. Yeah. Dude, thank you.